So this problem is to complete the square and identify the range of the quadratic formula 2x squared minus 10x plus 5. The first step is to factor out the coefficient of the x squared term out of only the first two terms. So if we take out a 2, what we'd be left with is an x squared out of the first term and a minus 5x out of the second term, then we'll leave the plus 5 uh, without factoring anything out of it. The next step is to take our coefficient of the x term, divide it by 2, and then square it. So we're taking negative 5, we divide that by 2, and then we square. So negative 5 divided by 2 doesn't really simplify, but when we square it we get 25 over 4. So what we need to do with this term is to add it inside the parentheses to make it 2 times x squared minus 5x plus 25 over 4. But to keep things balanced, we can't just add onto the inside. We have to subtract on the outside. But also, since we have this coefficient of 2, we're not just adding a 25 over 4. We're adding 25 over 4 times 2. So what we're actually adding is 25 over 2. So we need to subtract out a 25 over 2 to keep things balanced. We'll bring down the plus 5. From here, let's combine our two fractions. Negative 25 over 2, um, we can write this 5 as 10 over 2 to make outside the parentheses a negative 15 over 2. Also, um, we need to factor what's inside the parentheses. So if we take the negative 5 and if we divide it by 2 but don't square it yet, this is the term that it's going to factor into. So it'll make 2 times x minus 5 over 2 and all of that is squared. So this is, we've now completed the square. This is the completed the square form. But now we need to identify the range. So to give just a general idea of what our graph is going to look like, if we draw a little sketch. Because our A is positive, that means it's going to be a graph that opens up. And the vertex is going to be at negative 5 over 2, negative 15 over 2. So if this is negative 5 over 2 and this is negative 15 over 2, the vertex would be approximately here. And Again, because the A is positive, it would open up. So the range of the function is all the Y values that, are, um, that touch the function, basically. So we're, we would start at negative 15 over 2 would be our minimum value. So the, the range would be from negative 15 over 2. And then it goes all the way up to infinity if we write it in interval notation, or if we, another way to write it would be that the range is y is greater than negative 15 over 2. And again, that's using the vertex, that that vertex would be its minimum value, and it would go up forever, everywhere else. So, I hope this question was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so that you'll be notified anytime I make a new video. Thanks.